Hi everyone, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am currently in a little country called Montenegro in the Balkans. I've spent the past four or five days here and you may have seen the previous vlog in Couture and the coast. We rented a car, it was brilliant. And part two of Backpacking Montenegro is gonna be this vlog up in the mountains. I didn't, to be honest, know that these mountains even existed in Montenegro before I came, but obviously chatting to other backpackers in Couture and just receiving recommendations from people along the way, I discovered that this little town of Zablujek is supposed to be quite nice with a lot of lovely hikes around. So with my friend James, who's currently in the bathroom, who I met in the old town hostel in Couture, we traveled up yesterday to the town of Nikšić, which is a apparently the second largest city in Montenegro and there wasn't a whole lot going on but I actually have a few recommendations if you do manage to go there yourself we had a brilliant goulash for 350 in a restaurant called Castel highly recommend that we also had breakfast in Piazza highly recommend that as well and there was only one hostel in the whole of Nikšić and it was called Hostel Evropa and it was really great to be honest like it was small cozy but it was clean no complaints really and last night we traveled on bus from Nikšić up to this little town called Zablujak which is where I am now I'm staying in Hikers Den Hostel which was recommended by several people and this is where we're going to be spending the next few nights basically just here hiking hence being in the hikers den hostel and um, unfortunately the weather is quite shit over the next couple of days we are still planning on going hiking we're just gonna make sure that we've got our waterproofs and we're just expecting to get a little bit wet but we're hoping by our final day here we're going to be able to do the big big hike that there is to do here called Bob 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 Tov Kuk Bob Tov Bob Tov Kuk I will have to confirm that one for you, but hopefully we'll be able to do that on the last day. Um, but we're still gonna get out walking today and tomorrow. It's gonna be a bit rainy, but we're, we're, we're here and we need something to do and that's the only thing to do. Now, before we head out exploring the misty mountains of Montenegro, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsors of today's video, Surfshark. Surfshark are a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network. It works by turning your internet connection completely private, which has a whole host of benefits. For example, acting as a virtual shield on your Wi-Fi connection so that no hackers can get into your device. You can also change your virtual location to pretty much anywhere in the world. This is useful because it means whenever you get one of those dreaded error messages saying that a particular media or service is not available in your country, with the click of a button you can change your virtual location to a place where the media or service is available. I can also do things like switch my Netflix to the USA which gives me access to so many more shows than Montenegro does. Surfshark is one of the only VPNs which you can use on an unlimited number of your devices with just the one account. And of course I have an incredible discount code for you when you use my code BACKPACKING you will get 83% off plus an extra 3 months for free. So don't forget to click the link in the description to make the most of that offer. Before we get started on hiking, I want to give you a little tour around this hostel. So this is the dorm room. There's a bunk bed there and then two single beds, um, but it's actually considered to be an eight bed dorm because there's also four beds in here and we have a bathroom in there. We actually have an entire little kitchen area in the room itself, which is quite cool. They have another dorm bedroom there with a bathroom and then moving down it's got real like ski cabin vibes which is quite cool here's a little map of the balkans uh, this is the kitchen area very cute there's a bathroom behind there so here is the hostel common room you <laughs> so this is the town of zablaje up back where we were there's lots of kind of wooden cabins we're describing it as a Soviet ski town. That's uh, <laughs> I think the best way to describe the uh, the way that this town looks. Today we are going to be walking around the Black Lake. It takes about an hour and a half to get there, about an hour to go around and then about an hour and a half to walk back. So four, it should take around four hours all in all and I've been advised 
to wear um, shorts even though it's kind of cold because if it rains which it's kind of likely to rain then it'll just be my legs getting wet which I can dry off rather than my leggings getting wet I didn't really like apart from my Mac I have no good hiking clothes I wasn't planning on doing a lot of hiking on this trip James is here Okay, I think we've made it to kind of the official start point where we had to pay a ticket actually, three euros each, to enter what I assume is like the national park to get to the Black Lake. So what I've learned is that Sirno means black, so Sirno Jezero means black lake, which is exactly what this is. This is also appropriate with the whole name of Montenegro because it's called Sirno Gorra. Gorra meaning mountain. So Montenegro is actually Sirno Gorra, which is Black Mountain. But weirdly, we English speakers use the Italian way of saying Montenegro. We don't use their local way of saying it. Fun fact. Wine and souvenir shop will definitely come back here once we've gone around the lake. Snake Lake. Yeah. Do we think there's snakes around here? Yeah, yeah, yeah they could be cats. Yeah. Okay. Like we'll look out for the snakes. No, no, I'm joking. It's it's from the um, the leeches. Is that? Oh, the le oh sh that's even worse. The leeches. <laughs> so beautiful. What I want to know is why someone would choose to camp here, knowing that there's lots of leeches around. It's a terrible decision. Is there supposed to be coffee here? Mm, no. No. Maybe the other side. There's an information thing. We follow uh, the path up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like a little fairy tale, to be honest. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Very rainy fairy tale. Huh? <laughs> very rainy. A fairy very tale. rainy fairy tale. Very wet fairy tale. <laughs> Good morning. It's another rainy day in Bubbler Jack, and we're up a little bit earlier this morning. It's about 25 past eight come to the bus station because we're getting a bus somewhere a little bit out of town we're going to the Tara River Valley maybe doing a zip line maybe not maybe just hiking um, I'm really hoping we don't get rained on too much today um, unfortunately from what I've learned it is just kind of raining everywhere in the Balkans right now no matter where you go whether you're on the coast whether you're in the mountains the weather is just shit for these few days so it doesn't matter where you are you just gotta deal with the weather that you have and then it should hopefully hopefully sunny up by the time that I go to Albania in a couple of days time but anyway this is the plan for today hey we have arrived in the Tara River Valley uh, just got the bus here how much did you pay? I paid 250 okay cool cool I, I didn't actually know how much I just kind of showed 250 in my hands and he was like oh yeah I'll take that anyway 45 minute bus Wow. Oh, there's the zip line. Can you see it? Across like that? If my facts are correct, I've been told that this is the second deepest canyon in the world after the Grand Canyon. It's a bit of a claim to fame for a small country like Montenegro. The last time I did a zip line, I think it was in the Philippines, in El Nido. That was a good one. The weather was a lot better that day. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to this one because the valley just looks absolutely insane. You can also do um, like water rafting in the Tara Valley and that's actually very popular. Personally, I got a little bit of PTSD doing uh, white water rafting in Colombia a couple of years ago. A near-death accident and so I'm not so keen to do it again. Um, but the zip line, very excited to do that just having a coffee first. Okay, here we go, the zip line. She said it was 20 euros per person, but she's gonna give it two for 30 euros for us, so that'll be 15 euros each. 
We're just gonna watch some people do it first before we commit to uh, throwing ourselves off this cliff. Oh, can you see the person on the zip line? Woohoo! <laughs> okay, there we go. There's the start. Leg straight. All the time. Oh, leg straight all the Listen, time. If you stop early, they will give you a rope. Just yeah. catch the rope and guys pull you. Okay. Catch the rope. James is a bit afraid of heights. Leg straight the whole time. This is a really uh, funny, funny thing to have your leg straight the whole time. Oh my! <laughs> oh, there it goes! How was that? <laughs> it's very relaxing. And then this truck is taking us basically just back to the start point. Lovely, with the bike gang. So a very lovely couple from Belgium uh, picked us up as hitchhikers to get back to Zablajak. That was James's idea. And I was embarrassed. I find it really embarrassing sticking your thumb out for a lift. I don't know why. I just get, I think it's mortifying. But we did it and um, we got picked up successfully by a very nice couple. So anyway, we're now back in Zablajak, but we've left the hostel straight away because the weather is a little bit better today. And so Alex, one of the owners of the hostel has said, you need to leave right now to go on this really, really nice hike. And so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a five hour hike in the Dermator National Park, isn't it? So we're just gonna stop by the supermarket to grab some snacks and some water, and then we'll be on our way for hopefully a better weather hike than yesterday. Okay, so this is where we got to yesterday at the Black Lakes, but I think instead of heading around it left, we're gonna head round it right and then round and then probably up into these mountains somewhere. Okay, we've done 5k now, almost 200 meters of elevation, and I think there's going to be about 400 meters of elevation altogether on this hike. So, pretty much just steepness from here. But you can see in the background, we've come up a little bit of a way. I've stripped off my layers, which I really didn't think was going to happen because in Zablajak, oh, it's cold. I had on all the layers that I owned, and I really couldn't imagine taking them off. But you heat up pretty quickly when you're walking quite steeply uphill. We're out of the forest now, into a more open rocky terrain, which means we're going higher. Today we're following Maps.me, which was the recommendation of the guys at the Hikers Den Hostel. They pretty much was like, it's essential that you download this app and obviously get it offline and you'll be able to basically navigate everywhere you need to go with Maps.me. So, useful. Okay, it's getting a bit chilly now. Put the rain jacket back on. I think having a rain jacket is so good because it just acts as like a windbreaker. It doesn't add that much like thermal heat, but if it's windy, it can just be very, very effective. Bear in mind, it is the 12th of June? 11th? It's kind of like, it's kind of slush at this point, like hardened slush. Oh no! That's way too slippy to climb on. Yeah. This is just like a disaster waiting to happen. It's another bridge of Jones we're waiting to happen. We're almost there now. Don't know if you can see that hut in the far distance, that's where we're heading. But this view is incredible. And I successfully walked across the snow without slipping. But I don't want to speak too soon that the entire hike is going to be so successful. Going deeper and deeper and deeper into the Montenegrin Valley. 
Okay, we have made it to our final destination of the day. We could keep going further into the valley, but there's a lot of clouds at the top of the mountain and it, that wasn't what we were planning to do anyway. And look what we found. A little hut which says beer on it. I think that sounds like a very good idea. It's called Dermator Camp. So we've come to high five. Is a beer necessary on the mountain right now? No. Are we gonna have one anyway? Yes. Three euros for a local mountain beer. <laughs> We're gonna share one because it seems a bit much to have one each. Though that was my initial plan, but uh, <laughs> I've been convinced otherwise. So we made it back to the Black Lake now. This is the last time we're gonna see it, I think, in all its glory. So peaceful. I feel like we actually walked down really, really quickly. What do you think? Yeah, do you think I we walked down quickly? Now. Yeah, and from here, I think it's only about two kilometers, just over two kilometers back to the hostel. So we've made good time. This has been, a really great hike and the weather is hold out held out for us which is really good as well this is very strict it was our last night last night <laughs> and um had a bit of wine got told off by alex it's not the first time i've been told off by alex in this hostel <laughs> but it's all good uh, we were quiet after that and now it's time to leave it's time to leave hikers den and it's time to leave zabla jack I am now finishing this vlog exactly where I started the Montenegro vlogs at Podgorica bus station. Well, around the back of the bus station where the toilets are. Um, because I'm leaving Montenegro now and I'm heading to my next destination in a brand new country of Albania, which I've never ever been to before. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. But alas, this is the end of the very short series in Montenegro. I really hope you guys enjoyed the videos. We were unfortunate with the weather in the mountains, um, but I still had a great time and I discovered a place that really I had no idea existed. I really didn't even know about Dermatol National Park and I'm really, really pleased that I got to discover at least a little bit of it. I hope one day I'll be back and get to do the actual big hike of Bobotov Kuk. I hope I've said that correctly. Apparently the weather is actually looking up now. Like we, It's just been such bad timing with the weather, but we can't plan these things. Hopefully, because the weather's getting better in the Balkans, it means that I can do some good hikes when I arrive in Albania. But that's a story for another vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and want to keep up with whatever adventures I end up going on next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.